right, let's be real. Last year was a total bust on Nightmare Night. Zombie bread monsters. <laughs> music tropes. <laughs> possessions before that. <laughs> Dare I say more? Maybe I should do something different. Like stay in and watch one of my favorite childhood scary movies. We could also do a review on it. Midnight? Where did you come from? Uh, it's not really safe for Blissy. Yeah! <laughs> Hang on a sec. Silence, putrid spawn! I'll show you the road to dusty death! Sorry about that. Halloween's our busiest time of year. Oh, now I remember why I like you. <laughs> On the one hand, you are quite evil and devious in that state, and I do enjoy a bit of chaos. On the other hand, you have a bad habit of hurting my husband. And I have a very strong urge to throw you into that pit, and we'll have some real fun. I was having a tantrum and I apologized to the Sock Horse and I feel really, really bad for what I did and I'm sorry! Please don't hurt me, Auntie Actress! Plus, I really don't want to challenge my dark side against you as I really don't want to hang over after Halloween or Nightmare Night, whatever! Ugh, the show is over. We can call all the holidays their actual names now. Dude, too soon! Whatevs. So, you're going to review a spooky movie for the spooky season? May I join you? I don't know. It's not exactly scary on the levels of IT remake, but I argue it's just slightly above Disney levels, which is ironic because it is a Disney flick. Something from 1986, the year I was born. Way before I was born. You're a baboo. No, I'm not! My point still remains. Anyway, are you up for a rare Halloween Disney special? Eh, as long as it fits within the spooky genre, I'm game. Alrighty, let's play Mr. Boogity! Please tell me it has nothing to do with boogers. It doesn't. Why do people assume that? Like all stereotypical family horror stories, we start with a new family moving to a new town. Wait, that's typical? Usually I'm used to the spiel where we are introduced to a creepy neighborhood or a bunch of edgy teens that we know are gonna die later. That happens too. Oh. Ah, is that supposed to be a new ad for Fun Dip? What's Fun Dip? You're older than me! How do you not know about Fun Dip? Hey, I didn't do everything in the 90s. First of all, Jennifer, it's not the middle of nowhere, it's the middle of New England. Not only is this place beautiful, but we will be the only Gag City franchise for hundreds of miles. So, let me get this straight. They are moving hundreds of miles away to the middle of New England because the father wants to branch his company of Gag City to basically avoid the competition? I can understand the daughter being annoyed, but seriously, does he think he's going to outwin Party City? Those guys be gangsters. You'll never escape their party grasp. Is it a big, fat, juicy one all covered in slime? Yeah, pay no attention to the fact that your son just ate a bug. That's not normal father behavior! But it's clearly a gag, which the father is clearly into. He's practically wearing one of them now. All this prop gag in the world. Classic! This is not only gonna be the perfect town, it's gonna be the perfect house! <laughs> It's at this moment that Dad knew. He flopped. We suddenly went from day to night, sunny skies to stormy weather. Interesting transition? Also, was that my thunder sound effect? Did I seriously get this from Mr. Boogity? Not really haunted? They seriously had that up? I'm more concerned that the company was known as Devil May Care Realtor. 
Aeon, care to explain? Do you think it's haunted, Dad? Of course not, son. The realtor would have told me if it was. Not if it wasn't within the last three years, they don't. It's well known in realtor history that they prefer not to sell haunted places where they can because these things do actually happen. In fact, I heard a story about a woman a while back suing a realtor company because she had unquestionable evidence brought to the court hearing that her home was legitimately haunted and the realtor knew about this. You don't just leave this out of house facts, people! Hey, big place! Lots of room to stretch out. I can understand buying a fixer-upper if you have the money to do it, but all of those cobwebs? Mr. Adams, eat your heart out! The Adams Family! <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Ah, oh, my God, it moved! It moved! It moved! It moved! I don't want to go home! Witherspoon's my name. Neil. With a spoon. I have a son your age. He's unusual. Bad touch! Bad touch! I need an adult! Why would you share this with a teenage girl? Explain yourself! I'd like to welcome you to our town and warn you get out before it's too late. He's just joking. Yeah, joking. Neil? Are you joking? I'm the younger brother that has absolutely no character development, so I just repeat everything that's just been said. You love kids, don't you? Burn. I'd hate to see anything evil happen to you or your family. Well, I guess I've heard enough. I'll meet you guys out by the truck. Door just slammed! Door just slammed by itself! Unless they have a strong AC unit in place, I call shenanigans! Neil, are you joking? I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogity Man. Boogity! 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 Somebody call this man a doctor! He is obviously having a seizure! Just in case you didn't scare the kids enough, let's have a psycho old man nail it into the coffin. Once again, another horror trope. I think it's in the basement. Should we go see what it is? As is tradition in horror movies, I will send you down first as a sacrifice to the devil. Pray Satan. Funny thing, I never had a basement, so I don't understand this fear very well. But I did have a scary garage once. Does that count? <laughs> Damn it! What a creepy place to live. I bet nobody here ever heard of Bruce Springsteen. Who is that? I think he's a singer. Tweak! Nom nom. Google it! Nom nom. Bruce Springsteen is an American singer, songwriter, and musician who is both a solo artist and the leader of the E Street Band. He was received critical acclaim for the early 1970s albums and attained worldwide fame upon the release of Born to Run in 1975. But that doesn't explain why she brought him up in regards to how creepy the house is. Random! Corwin, are you in there? Zool, mother Zool! <laughs> Is Zool gone? False alarm! It's just a pipe bomb! Yay! Yikes! These transitions in this film are terrifying! There it goes again! Yep, there it goes. Somebody give this boy some character development! He's dying out there! Well, maybe you'll have better luck tomorrow. Come on. Hey! Where'd he go? Come on, Ari, it's getting late. Reginald Ernest Davis, move. Ooh, full name! I feel my tail tucking under my legs! He went from caring dad to really angry really fast. I do not like this. Once again, though, another horror trope. How many are you going to count? Every single one! What you need, Jennifer, is a good breakfast. Start the day off right. 
That's right, Jennifer. Finally! We know what this <gasps> his name is! Jennifer! Good name. Also, I'm noticing the actor of the dad from somewhere. Hmm. Oh! Toy! Google again! No, no. Sweet, Celestia! It's Stan! From the original IT TV series? Yeah, the character Stan commits suicide later on in the film. <laughs> oh, God! Jennifer. Eat the eggs! <laughs> The hell was that? Horror Trope 1. It's gone to insanity. Daddy, I keep hearing this sneezing. Honey, people hear lots of noises in old houses like this. It doesn't mean anything. I'll tell you something. We're all going to feel a lot better once we get settled in. Okay, I love the mom character right here. She's logical, kind, and tolerates. She hears her daughter's concerns, but makes a pretty good assumption that there's reasonable explanation behind the weird sounds she's hearing. And quite frankly, it's a fair argument. Old houses do make weird sounds now and then, and though it may seem like a haunting, it could simply be a bad pipe, creaking in the floors or windows. About 80% of the time, that's what it is. Ask the former experts the warrants. Uh, oh, oh wait. Too soon. Yeah, I respect the Warren family. Gag City. <laughs> well, that's a dick move. Gag City! <laughs> Zoom, mother! No! We're not doing that again. I will get you back for that. Bring it! <laughs> <laughs> That was the most dramatic fainting I have ever seen. But that was pretty well done. The lighting, the music, showing her reaction instead of Mr. Boogity, it really ramped up the chill factor. Bravo, movie, bravo. That scene, amongst many others to come, still gives me goosebumps to this day. I'll go into more detail later. I found you lying here, honey. You were clicking your heels together and all you would say is, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> what? I'm confused on this too. The Bogarty Man! His face, it was all yucky and, uh, and like a grilled cheese sandwich or something. Okay, wait a minute. Never mock the grilled cheese sandwich! Look, it's his footprints! Wow. Careful, Carlton. You don't want to get that on your pajamas. Oh boy, these are great! Look at this! <laughs> I can sell these. I can. I can sell these. Aren't they great? Look, they stick to things. I don't believe this! Oh, honey, Talking about your enterprise of selling ghostly footprints while your daughter is traumatized. This is the pre-Beetlejuice version of paranormal exploitation. But I saw him right here! Did he have big teeth? <laughs> Was he gonna eat ya? All right, boys, that's enough. Mom, we're just trying to help. Yeah, nobody's buying that sh oh. Come on, they were trying out for the best bully spots for the next film. That's another future trope. Ugh. That's a thing. Big lip alligator moment! No, seriously, did we forget we're in a ghost film? we went from a zero to a 100 in paranormal activity in less than a few seconds. That's an Academy record. Seriously, these transitions do not help the film. Dad doesn't even believe in ghosts. Yeah, Jennifer. You shut up. No. Yes. yes. Mr. Witherspoon, what are you doing here? What? What am I doing here? I work here. <laughs> what are you doing here? I had too much to drink last night. Someone did check your wrist bracelet for the hospital, did they? Ah, uh, so that's it. <laughs> you want to know about the house? They had a crossfade transition. Why did they have a crossfade transition? 
That is so weird. You really got a chip on your shoulder. It's important for filmmaking. Sorry. I'm a bit more distracted with how a historical expert knows more about their house being haunted than an actual realtor. Someone gonna sue. William Hanover. And he was a strange man. Nobody liked him. And everybody was just a little bit afraid of him. Ah, uh, no. It wasn't a good idea to make jokes around William Hanover. So why didn't they just talk to him? You know, ask what's upsetting him so much? If someone actually took the time to get to know him just because he was a little quirky, oh wait. Then again, if he was really different and this was during the time of the Salem witch trials, if I were to guess, oh, that might not be a good idea. Well, if it were from those times, they'd skip the talking and go straight to the stoning. And I'm not talking about the pot kind. Touche. There was one person. The beautiful Widow Marion. Sisters, do you think if he is really all that bad? He trieth. I am sure that he trieth. I don't think so, Mother. <laughs> so, one woman in the entire village felt it was only fair to give him a chance? Her son being the more logical of the two, but hey, there's some humanity left. This is actually a very old horror trope. The evil man slash monster trying to kidnap the woman he loves. Let's see if he tries. I mean, anything. People say he sold his soul to the devil that night for a magic cloak. <laughs> cloak so powerful, he hoped it might even give him the widow, Marion. <laughs> you saw that, right? Why did he wiggle his tongue? Why? Um, big red guy? He's the devil. He's evil. Mwahaha. Mr. Boogity decided to cast his very first spell with the magic cloak. <laughs> but uh, something happened. Ah, he blew up his own house. <laughs> this man is on something and I want no part of it. I do. Shut! Mom? Dad? This is when you open the door and leave. Also, what's up with the overdramatic fog? Seriously, is it that humid in New England? Ooh, I can't answer that one too. Well, not necessarily thought of as being the most humid place. When I did live in New England, I often ran into scenes of foggy nights or foggy early mornings that would almost rival or trump any horror movie. If anything, this seems like a toned down version of what I would see in early mornings in New England. There was even a time where I had to drive to a shift at about four in the morning between the town of Dublin and the city of Keene in New Hampshire. And yes, it was stereotypical horror movie fog to the point where a clown, demon, or ghost popping out would most certainly not be out of the ordinary. Great reaction from the kids. Splendid effort! Would you mind turning it on, sweetheart? <laughs> dear God, that laugh! More like, dear God, that vacuum clown! <laughs> huh? <laughs> you doing okay there, Bliss? Bliss? Code brown because I need to change my pants. Ah, ew, why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Worth it. Dad, the house is haunted. Uh, haunted. It's Mr. Boogity. One thing I do know, this house is not haunted. <laughs> ah, another horror trope. Piano is playing by itself. I should have asked this sooner, but should we make this another Silver Quill drinking challenge? For every horror trope, take a shot. I'm sure I'll down half the bottle. Time to call a realtor. No, no, but you mean move. I love this woman. I need more of her in my life. The 
this ass is real. Hey, relax, everybody. I have an idea. We have sleeping bags. Uh, we'll camp out. Dad, can you tell us a story? Okay, sure. It sounded like... Like... Ah! Daddy, what are you doing? Well, you're supposed to tell scary stories when you're sitting around the old campfire, darling. Not in a haunted house, you dick! Oh. Seriously? Your kids are scared, your wife wants to move, the house is clearly haunted, and you are telling ghost stories?! Somebody tap, tap, tapping at my window? No. Let me in, it's cold! Are you a ghost? Yes. Oh dear. That is the best reaction to a ghost I have ever seen. This woman is amazing. Your widow Marion. The kids told her, maybe? When? When do they do this? I assume they did? Show! Don't tell! Yes, ma'am. This is terrible, Eloise. We have to do something about this. Yes! She must sacrifice the smallest child! He has no character development anyway! <laughs> you must really like children. Hey, Blissy. What? Come here. Zoom! <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Quiet, guys. Maybe we can sneak up on him. What if he blows us up? Wait a minute. That is a logical reaction. I don't want to blow up. I want to live. Dad! Yes! Run and let your character develop and bloom! Go forth, unsafe young child, into the clutches of a monster. It's like Poltergeist 2.0. Uh, did anybody leave a weird green light on in that room? Nah, it's just the radiation. Yes, so please follow me up to the first floor, Mr. Davis, for a chest x-ray. Boogity, we're coming in now. But it's just to talk. Even though we're heavily armed. We just wanted to reiterate. Car trope. The lights don't work. Take a shot. Does chocolate milk count? Um, ghosts are sparkly. Was Stephanie Myers inspired by this movie? You started all this bull didn't you movie? You're the reason why we have sparkly vampires. Flop, yeah. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sorry. I didn't mean to take him. I was just lonely for a friend. Aw, poor baby. Meanwhile, how's that character development coming, Ari? Just focusing on your ghost these teddy bear? Hmm. Okay, sure, what the hell. And you know what? What? Corn will beat up Mr. Booty so you can go back to your mom. Yay. Hey, what? Um, oof. Coming. Who do you think? The only ghost in the house you are literally hunting down to get rid of! This is it! We're ready! Never mind! I'll see you next fall! <laughs> Look here, Boogity, don't you think this, uh, this haunting business has gone far enough? Boogity! Boogity! Okay, so you don't want to talk, fine, but this is our house and... We're not leaving, so forget it. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> Your negotiation skills suck. Loving the effects, cheesy as they are. A combo of 2D and practical effects. You blow some of this at him, and I'll go grab his cloak. That is actually practical. Huh? What do you mean? Well, there are a lot of legends that say ghosts and fairies are weak against iron and salt. 
So if he's going to whack him with an iron poker, that's a smart kid. Ah, I learned something. Does this count? No, it's not horror related. <laughs> Don't make the joke, 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 don't make the joke! They all float down here! Damn it! This is one hell of a talented ghost, I must say. Floating iron picks, making dad run in place on a ladder, Making Hurricane win so the wife and older daughter can't help? Um, this goes to Mary Sue. Yeah, he's a little OP. <laughs> um, run? It's just a vacuum, though. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! You're laughing, though. Shut up! Get away! Only it hit your face. Ah! <gasps> Way to go, Ari! Oh, son. <laughs> you still had no character development. It came at the end? Over a teddy bear! And he saved his family! By accident! Besides, as we all know, there are no such things as ghosts. You wanna bet? Time for a new vacuum cleaner. I say, still time to move out. Well, I still love this movie. I think it's aged well despite it not being a commonly known film. I only remember it being released a few times according to my mother as a special on the Disney Channel every October since I was little. But now with present times, not many have heard of it and it's not a mass production movie on DVD, let alone Blu-ray. These days, you're lucky to find a VHS copy or a ripped off version. Heck, the only way me and Midnight were able to enjoy it was through a YouTube purchase or rental. It's pretty cheap at $10 for full purchase and $3 for rental. Honestly, the music left me with goosebumps the whole time with its dramatic trumpets, atmospheric sounds, and even the cliches of using audio effects like thumps and thunder. It was a nice touch. The effects were a happy combination of 2D animation and practical effects. Strings, wires, makeup, people in costume. Even the actors, though obviously overdramatic at times, they were still enjoyable to watch. I especially love the father, Carlton Davis, with his gags and funny sense of humor. Overall, a cheesy, but in a good way. Fun family spooky film that I still recommend. While there were a lot of cliches in this movie, and the characters are mostly one note and overdone, I still had a lot of fun. There were some pretty creepy and unnerving moments due to the lighting and music. Another thing I can appreciate is the fact that they didn't show Mr. Boogity until the very end. They could have easily shown him throughout the movie, and it would not have been nearly as creepy. But instead, they pull a Jaws and do a lot more with sound effects and POV shots. While this movie isn't going onto my gotta sleep with the lights on after watching this list, I can definitely put it with my traditional Halloween movies along with The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, Beetlejuice, and Hocus Pocus. Boogity. Boogity, boogity. I'm sorry, Bliss. I can't be scared of a word that sounds like the variation of the word booger. Boogity boo. Uh, midnight. Nobody boops my Die now, aren't I? Bum, 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 bum. Don't worry about a thing, Bliss. I've handled this before. What? No, don't! She's too chaotic! Would you relax? I got this. I want the blood of the innocents! Ah! Uh, 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 how did you do that? That's just a trick all husbands who have chaotic wives know.
You booped her on the nose, didn't you? Well, everyone boops my nose. I boop sometimes. What's the big deal? She just really doesn't like it when others boop her nose. It's kind of an OCD thing. Oh, well then. Lesson learned. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, you didn't know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, honey bunny. Are you ready for your special Halloween treats and movie marathon? Yeah. Okay, let's get you home and we'll have some spoopy fun. Don't read too much into that, folks. It is in no way kinky. Well then, happy Halloween, everyone! And keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile. Little pumpkin sitting on the gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one says, There's witches in the air. The third one says, But we don't care. Fourth one says, Let's run and run and run. Fifth one says, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight I got one more for ya. From my kindergarten days. Oh my god. Halloween's coming, Halloween's coming Skeletons are after you Witches, black bats, black Cats, ghosts, and goblins, too. Flap, flap, flap goes the big black bat. Ooh, meow, meow, meow goes the ugly cat. Even though cats are not ugly. Ooh, 